All right, we will be starting this tier list. You can see the guys in the chat from the stream. They're going to help us out with this tier list for the weapons. We're going to start with the first gun on the left, which I'm pretty sure this is the M4. So honestly, as an AR, I think this is one of the weaker ARs, probably bottom two. It has a fast fire rate and minimal recoil, but it just does not kill as fast as the other assault rifles. So we probably will put this gun in either average or above average. I think this gun is average, honestly. I don't think it could go into the above average category. So we're going to probably leave this in average. Average for sure. Average, average. So at least three of you have said average. Four. Okay. So yeah, this stuff, this gun is definitely average. Now we will be moving to the next gun. Wow, the M16. Listen, in the closed beta last year, I swear this gun was so bad. But I think they improved the time in between bursts. They might have done some other changes, but this gun is outrageous now. You can have one burst to the head. Uh, the headshots are insane with this weapon. And yeah, you just have an extremely fast time to kill. I think the M16 is 100% a top 3 gun in the game. 100% top tier 3 top 3 gun. This gun is 100% top tier, no questions asked. If you haven't used M16, you better level it up. But yeah, you'll be seeing a lot of this gun, especially in ranked, if they don't nerf it. I'd say the AK is a little under the M16, but it is still an incredible assault rifle. I definitely think this gun is either top tier or above average. I don't think you can put it any lower. I don't know exactly how many guns you guys want in the top tier, but I think there's like five or six weapons that are top tier. Above average, top tier, top tier. I think AK is also top tier. I think there's probably like six to like seven weapons that are definitely above every, every other weapon, but there's some that you can make an argument for. AK, this is kind of hard. I think it is top tier, honestly. It's kind of hard to not put this gun top tier. I think AK doesn't feel nice to use, really. What are your attachments? Some people, they need like angled grip. Some people need like horizontal recoil help. But if you do get the right attachments, this gun is a beam. Also, you can use it without recoil handling attachments and it's still a beam. ACR better than A1 or AK or just me? I think the ACR is definitely up there. And I think the ACR is above average. What do you guys think? The ACR is really good, but compared to the AK or M16, I just don't think it's there. I got the AK or the ACR level 1000 last year in the closed beta. I probably have some of the most hours in this entire game with the ACR. And I think it's above average. Even though the ACR is my favorite weapon in this game, I probably will only keep it in above average. Now we will go into the MDR, the new assault rifle that a lot of people have not seen yet in this game. So the MDR is also a really, well, it's a decent gun, but I classify it somewhere near the M4. I don't know which gun is worse in the AR category, the M4 or the MDR. Honestly, I'm... I think the M4 is worse than the MDR, but actually, I don't know. I could be faded. They're probably the same. Had an add ACR above average? Yeah, we have ACR in above average. M4 is better. Okay, so yeah, M4 is probably better than MDR. The MDR is supposed to be like the hybrid AR SMG combo type of gun, but I feel like it just does both of those jobs bad. Worse than the SMGs and all the assault rifles. So they're probably going to have to change this gun up a little bit. But at the same time, any buff that they do this gun can actually make it broken. It could, I feel like this gun could be meta at some point, and it would be an insane flex option. Now we will be moving on to SMGs, but in my opinion, the number one AR is M16, number two AK, number three ACR, number four M4, and number five MDR for the assault rifle category. Now we've been moving on to the MP5. Honestly, the MP5 is one of the weakest, I think it is the weakest SMG. I thought this since last year also with the closed beta. It just doesn't compare it to the other ones. Definitely think that you guys would agree that the other three SMGs are a step above. So I probably would put the MP5 in average. But, you know, it is pretty good. I've been using it a lot lately. I got it like level 50 already. We'll probably get a goal today in this stream. But I think it's average. MP7 is top tier. I mean, the MP7, we'll get right into that, man. The MP7 is insane. It might be a hot take, but I think it's the worst SMG in the game. No, I think the MP5 definitely is the worst SMG. Next, we have the MP7. One of my favorite weapons in the game. Definitely one of my top three favorite weapons in the game. This gun is crazy. Definitely is the best SMG, and I'm going to put it in top tier. Uh, any close range map, Occupy, also, like, holding the hell down. You're going to die to this weapon a lot. There's going to be a meta SMG and ranked. So you're definitely going to want to use MP7 and level it up. There's probably like five plus different class setups you can use with this gun also. Uh, and it's very versatile depending on your play style. MP7 top tier 100%. Yeah, a lot of you guys are in agreement with me. Definitely top tier. Alright, now we will be going to the Vector. This might be hard to do because I think Vector, it's definitely better than MP5. It's probably under like at the very end of above average. Or it could be just higher up in the average category. But I think the Vector is a really good gun. I don't think it's that bad. It is definitely situational. If you're at close range, it's it's going to melt. But the range on it is just not as good as the P90 or the MP7. Probably lowest and above average. I agree with that. That's definitely a good spot for it. The P90. I do think the P90 is better than the Vector. 
So we're going to put it up above that. I just got this gun gold yesterday. And yeah, you can use this gun with a reflex. You can use it with iron sights. Uh, this gun has, what, 50 bullets in the magazine. You can put fast mags on it. It's just really good at range, close range. In my opinion, the P90 is better than the ACR. Is that a hot take? The P90 being better than the ACR? I have no idea. I feel like for SMG, like you just have to use the MP7 if you're really trying to get the most kills or like play at your best. The ACR though, that's a pretty hot take. That is that take is scorching hot. Honestly, it might be a scorching hot take. Uh, but next, so in my opinion, I'm putting the M60 in top tier. It's either top tier or very above average, like at the top of above average. I think it is better than ACR. Uh, obviously, not everyone wants to run around with the LMG, but the M60 is insane. Top tier? I think it's top tier, but probably at the, like, below top tier, like at the very end. Or it's probably one step above the MP7. But the fact that you have, what, 100 bullets in a clip, I think it does 25 damage to the body. It just is insanely outrageous fast time to kill. Alright, the next weapon, I assume this is the RPK. The RPK, I did use this last playtest. I haven't given it that much a try right now in this uh, build, but everything is still the same. I was using this gun with the uh, iron sights. This iron sights actually really nice on this gun. And you can use it with the reflex as well. I'd say this is definitely average. It's definitely got to be an average or even below average. In my opinion, it actually might be better than MDR. <laughs> Bro, the MDR is just, I'm not high on the MDR at all. It is a new weapon, obviously. The battle pass skin is in the shop. I still would uh, get the battle pass and grind for it because they might buff this gun in the future and then it'll be meta and you'll have the best weapon skin. So I'm probably going to put the RPK above the MDR. A lot of people have been talking about this M249. Wait, is the M249 in this? Is this the M249 here? I'm assuming this is MK20, SVD, M44, Tech 50. They don't even have the M24. They don't have one of the shotguns either. Okay, this is a bad tier. I didn't even uh, look at that. All right, we will be moving on. So we have... Uh, fix up most of this list we will do the shotgun next the aa12 i think this gun is whole honestly this could be up here this gun takes like four or five bullets it could kill with i don't know how much damage it does it's definitely c or f tier <laughs> this gun is not good at all i don't think the shotguns are strong at all in this game and that's actually a good thing because i despise shotguns i am kind of biased against shotguns all right moving on the mk20 I literally just got this gun max yesterday, and yeah, this gun is insane. It is that marksman rifle. If you put that heavy barrel on it, you have like a lot more consistent uh, two taps. This gun is a good, even close range. I've gotten a lot of kills on someone with the SMG pushing me. Honestly, like I don't even know. I might put this above the M60. This is my top three. Well, AK might not be my top three. I don't know. This is kind of hard for like the top six, top seven guns. I think the M16 is the best. MK20. It just depends on what your pro style is. And how good you are with these weapons. But man, the MK20 is outrageous. One of my favorite weapons in the game right now. MK20 is the best gun in the game. Some people will have the argument against uh, the MK20 with SVD. Just because of the one tap with SVD. But I definitely think the MK20 is a lot easier for everyone to use. Any gun three taps or less should be S tier now. Honestly, yeah, that is true. So MK20 S tier. And I'll probably put SVD S tier also. Since we're on the topic of it. Bro, there's way too many S tier weapons. I don't know if this list is right. <laughs> are you putting all these weapons in s tier i think they're all s tier honestly i can think there's more s tier weapons than a tier like there's there's certain weapons that are definitely a step above that need to be tuned a little bit that's video also if you did not know if you use the heavy barrel with the cleaners faction obviously you have the incendiary damage effect you can one tap headshot with this gun i'll probably be leveling this one up as well today they're gonna nerf soon and you'll see your tier list isn't wrong honestly yeah no some of these weapons are going to get nerfed i'd assume in a future like balance patch i think they've already confirmed that the snipers will be getting nerfed so on the topic of it right now we'll just talk about the snipers they are probably the only thing that's annoying in this game if you're playing against a four stack like four people three people another team and they're all sniping it just like feels like it's too easy you feel like you're dying way too much to them i just feel like they need to have a little more flinch i've also been using the tech 50 as i said yesterday i went on a 22 kill streak with this gun at the moment i'm probably gonna put the tech 50 in uh, s tier and then in 44 and a tier i think it just gets a little too many more uh hit markers honestly for s tier we're not gonna rank them but for everything else it's in order but for s tier it's kind of hard to rank them so we'll just leave them be but these guns are all definitely s tier in this game this game needs flinch badly this game 100 needs flinch all right, the M249. So this is another LMG. Honestly, I've always thought that, that the M249 was weaker than the RPK. 
but I've seen a lot of people actually enjoying using MT49, so maybe I'll try that out today. Actually, maybe I'll get this gun gold as well. What do you guys think about the MT49 compared to the other LMGs? It's a laser. Wow, so am I sleeping on the MT49? Should I have it higher? Tac 50 needs to be vaulted. Wow, you guys actually hate the snipers. There's a lot of hate for the snipers. I'm just like browsing around Twitter, and man, there is so much hate for the snipers right now. Bro, I forgot C was a tier. Do we think some of these guns are C tier? Maybe the MDR is C tier. Yeah, I forgot C tier was a thing. I think S tier, these guns are all definitely S tier. I don't even know what guns you could move from S tier to A tier here. So you're saying all those guns are just as OP as M16. That's the thing. I don't, I, obviously, there's like different orders within the S tier, but they're all still S tier. Do you guys agree with that? Do we think we should put some of these guns in A tier? SVD and M60 A tier. All right, you know what? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll put the SVD in the M60 A tier. But this is probably how it goes. Okay, this looks a lot better than this. Look, this looks a lot better. I think the MK20 is better than SVD, honestly. The MK20 is just more of a style, in my opinion. Add an A plus tier. Honestly, an A plus tier would help a lot. All right, we'll make an A plus tier. AKA A plus. So yeah, we will be changing this now. AKA is definitely A plus tier. SVD is definitely A plus tier, and I'll probably move them 60 to A plus tier as well. But I think this is probably a, a good list. By the same time, I think the M60 is a S tier. All right, we're going to move on to the Magnum. I think the Magnum is probably one of the worst pistols. It's definitely bottom two. Even though you can hit like, a, I think you get a 90 headshot or something crazy. It just shoots way too slow and you're going to die to any other main weapon. Like most of the time. So I'm definitely going to have the Magnum probably enough tier. Most of the pistols are bad. Uh, the Deagle, I used the Deagle basically the most last year in the closed beta, but it does not feel as good as it did before. Probably gonna put the Deagle CT though, you can, I think it's 3 tap, 4 tap to the body, but it shoots pretty slow as well. The M9 and the M1911, uh, probably will put them both C tier. You doing the M4 dirty in my opinion? Really, the M4, it's better than MDR, but it is not on the same level as the ACR, AK, or the M16. It is not on the same level. But for the 93R, I will be putting the 93R in B tier. I love this gun. This is actually one of my favorite guns in the game right now. Running around with this pistol, even, even just like the running animation, I'm just like so obsessed with it for some reason. I'm working on the gold revolver right now. It's so hard. Yeah, the revolver is in F tier. I'd say the A12 revolver S tier, or not S tier, F tier. And now we're going to be moving on to the M870. Honestly, these shotties could be in C tier. I got a one shot it by both these shotguns a decent amount. I think the double barrel is probably the best shotgun though. This is what I keep dying to, but the M870 might be worse. But the A12 and Magnum F tier. Honestly, you might be able to put the Digo F tier too. All right, solid list. This is looking like it's going to be then. We'll screenshot this and post this on Twitter later. And yeah, this will be the uh, tier list for the weapons.